Do you think religion still has a part to play in modern British society? If so, what positive impacts can it have? Religion still is very much part of everyday life for many, many people in our country. For me, it gives you a community, a sense of belonging. The church that I've come, I work in has been there since um, the 12th century, and the church has grown and changed with all the different changes that have happened uh, there. So in terms of positive impact, uh, the Church of England has got 33,000 social um, action projects from... Um, debt counselling, it has night shelters, it has lunch clubs, lots and lots. Of, if there's a need in the community, the church is often there responding to it. For me, one of the really positive impacts for religion is the way that it allows um, people to help others. As a person of faith, I believe that religion is very important to many people's lives in this country. And also, but it's not about just religion being an abstract being relevant to people's lives. The people of faith and the religious communities also need to make faith relevant to people. So let's say, take the example of phone. When we didn't have phones, you know, now we cannot live without them because they become relevant to us. You know, it's, it's in, in, my, in, in my palm, I can work out and find out everything. But it was the same with the religion. If, we, if places of worship, if religious institutions are not offering anything to their communities, to their neighborhoods, then you know, people will wonder, you know, why should I go to that institution? There's more to society than the individual and on top of the individual kind of government and parliament. Everything in between from our family through to our church is crucial for our identity and it makes life worth living. Uh, one of the last debates I was involved in in the House of Commons before I stood down in 2015 was on whether you could replace some of the DNA of a fetus in the womb so that, that when that fetus was born, the baby did not go on to get mitochondrial disease, which is a terrible disease that kills you by about the age of 20. But it did involve changing a bit of that embryo's DNA, bringing in the DNA from a third person, hence the inevitable Daily Mail headline, the child with three parents. And there were, there was a body of opinion in the House of Commons of people with devout religious beliefs who thought this was fundamentally immoral and it shouldn't be allowed to happen. My view is that there have to be limits on the extent to which people can apply their religious beliefs in public policy, which would then apply to other people who don't share those religious beliefs. That's when it all gets difficult. And by and large, what has happened in Britain in the last 150 years is we have gradually pushed back. We have created space for public policy and politics, which makes it something different from simply being the instrument whereby people, however sincere and devoutly held their religious beliefs are, use national legislation to impose them on everyone else. And it remains a tricky, hot topic in politics to this day. Um, I do think that religion, it definitely has a place and a role in society. However, that role is constantly changing and many institutions, especially I feel in sort of churches or I don't know, I don't go to mosque, but many churches, they feel that in order to retain their sort of belief in Jesus, they have to stay in that old mold and when society and its people are constantly changing and evolving and growing they have to grow and evolve with it and that I don't think they understand that that doesn't mean that they are less Christian or they're suddenly becoming more worldly and I feel like that's something that needs to be discussed both in churches and in Britain today.